What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. So, we are coming down to the wire now. We're actually, you know, starting tomorrow, we are going to be in the final month of Tales of the Rays live service before, obviously, we can still continue having our accounts in the offline mode for as long as that'll last. Um, obviously, it pretty much will just last until you have to transfer your phone or something else. And then, obviously, you won't be able to transfer it past October of this year. Once you get past October, um, whatever device your account is on, that's the device it'll be on until that device no longer works or you get rid of it or whatever. Um, but we have our final Rays Festival. Uh, so this will be fun. Um, there's a lot to kind of go over. First, I already accepted the stuff in my box, but they gave out a bunch of diamonds. I think they gave like a thousand diamonds. Uh, for a bunch of different stuff, and there were some other rewards in there. Now, I mean, this is kind of obvious. There is not a new, um, there's not a new banner. There's no new banner, because obviously we have all the banners here. Everything in the game is on these banners, so there's no reason for them to do another, you know, Raise Fest type banner, uh, like they would usually do. But we, what we have instead is a lot of other goodies that we're going to go over here first. So, as per usual, we have our two stages. We have our once-a-day stage we're going to be able to do. This goes until 7-4, and then we'll get the second half of this that will go for another five days. And then, of course, we have the normal event right here. There's also another set of these stages if you've been doing them, as well as more events if you have yet to clear some of these. So, very, very cool there. Of course, we have two new towers uh, right here. Um, so, you still have those to do. And uh, I don't know if they would have added... Let, let's check the... I want to check the hard mode tower first. I want to see if they add any more rewards to this. I need to finish doing... Um, I'll show you here in a second what I need to finish doing. But uh, basically turning all the three-star equipment into four-star equipment for some characters. There's still a lot of characters I still have yet to do. Okay, these are the bonus characters for the final tower of the game. Um, but let's take a look here real quick. I want to see if there's anything, like, kind of crazy in here. Uh, nope. Okay, it's all basic general stuff. And Shirley gets to be the... I'm sure most people who have been playing have already maxed that out. Um, okay, so... Yeah, just 500 for each thing. Yeah, so, okay, Tower Shop is pretty much the same. There's no Tower Banner. So, the weird thing here is, you can get the 5 star for Schwartz in here, but you can get all of her five stars in the event itself, so this is kind of pointless to get it right here, I guess. I guess if you really want it. I mean, it's kind of nice. Uh, obviously, L is right here, which is kind of nice uh, in case you're unable to kind of farm that out, but um, okay. So, tower is pretty much the same, um, but I'm obviously going to farm out the tower so I can get all that currency to get everyone's three stars up to four stars before the game shuts down. All right, so now let's go over to the actual event because there is a lot to uh, go over here. I've done most of the normal stages, but we'll do some of the other stuff here. I haven't even bothered doing this anymore. They was, may as well make this infinite, not that anyone really needs to do it. And then, of course, we have Carnival still going on, all that good stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and go here. So first things first, you have a handful of stages. Each one gives you 80 diamonds. And then I believe this is the final stage where you can get Schwartz but without the mask on. It's like a special outfit for that. So we're going to do that here in a second. We'll do that stage. Um, but as you can see here, so there's a lot of tickets in here. So you've got, what is this? One, two, three. You've got three ending marriage art tickets. You've got three... Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's more because you can get more than one. So you can get five ending marriage art tickets. You can get five recollection tickets. You can get five uh, crossover marriage art tickets. Um, looks like another 10 recollection ones, 10 ending, is that ending again? No, that's, uh, decisive mirror dart tickets over a, uh, seasonals, and then there's 25, 50, 100 normal tickets you can get from here, and then Schwartz, uh, they did announce, I know this is gonna be a surprise to some people, maybe don't follow Twitter, but they announced that Schwartz would be implemented in the game before it shut down, so we do get Schwartz now, we don't have to summon for her or anything, you just farm out the currency, and you get it right here. There's her mirror art. 
and there's her five stars I was just talking about, and then you've got her two four stars and her three star. So this, this would have been her uh, gotcha stuff. So you pretty much have this kind of sucks actually because that means she doesn't get three four stars and then a uh, five star. So that means you actually have to use a three star on her, which is kind of unfortunate. But you can make it a four star, like I just said, so not a big deal. Then you've got all the different outfits right here you can grab. You've got all your Nexus crystals. You've got uh, banner artwork. You can exchange for a bunch of outfit stuff. Okay, v yes, infinite. Oh, thank God. This is what I was struggling with. I was like, I'm not going to have enough uh, to get all my characters to level 80. So thank God they put this here. You can get infinite amount for all the characters that you need. Um, okay, more, uh, more music. Gifts if you need them, I guess. Um, gifts really aren't that hard to come by at this point because you can just exchange for them and it looks like that is pretty much it so that's everything in the shop so very very cool there a lot of good stuff to get there um, but let's go ahead and do the stage and then we'll switch to the actual raise fest part of the event um, and go ahead and do that uh, the amount of currency you get for each character is, of course, very, very high. I only did each stage once, and you saw I had, like, 700,000 of the big currency already. That's without any farming. This is pretty much my best team right now, if I want to have a mix of magic and melee. So, I'm going with Yuri, Estelle, Shirley, and Ix. Um, so, let's go ahead and just hop in. Because obviously it's dependent on how many mirror hearts you have for your characters and how many dupes they have and all their five stars and all that other stuff. So, all right, so we're gonna fight unmasked shorts yeah, here and who else? Well. Oh, and and Grunet as well. We fight them both. Boy, we fight them both. <laughs> Man, they're, uh... There we go. Savage Wolf Fury. There we go. 
All right, so you clear that fight and you get her maskless outfit. So very cool there. And then another 100 diamonds there at the end. I have more diamonds than I'm ever going to use now because I'm at the point where I'm missing like less than 80 mirror darts that are still in the game. And like probably like 20 or so of them are from collabs. So it's like, it's a hard, it's a hard time trying to figure out which mirror darts I'm actually missing. Um, so yeah, there's that whole thing to go with. All right, so now let's move over here and see what we have here for the final voting. So I'm really not sure what the, oh, I guess it's your favorite game mode. You're voting for your favorite thing in the game. So you've got story mode, you've got events. Um, looks like you've got raise fest, you've got the tower mode. So I guess you're supposed to vote for whatever your favorite events are. So I don't really have a particular thing. So let's go with this. Uh, I guess this is story mode. And then uh, top right might actually be like training, maybe. I'm not actually sure. And then let's just go with this one. It's not a big deal really either way. Um, and so let's see. So every stage, 10 diamonds, five of these, and then a ticket. And then of course, uh, let's see what the actual rewards for each thing is. So five tickets. I hope the points go really high. Okay, 50,000, that's not bad. Um, is there anything super interesting in here or not really? Is it just general kind of like... It really just looks like, okay, there are some tickets later on. Okay, that's kind, of, that's kind of worth it in the end. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do the first day. Um, we'll just put them all on, see how it goes. Yeah, 4,700 uh, points. So yeah, this is this is kind of nice. You know, we get one final raise fest before shut down. And obviously this event ends on the 10th, so I assume, I think we have one more raid from what I remember. We're gonna have one more raid event after this, and that will lead us into shutdown. We'll have a raid event that'll go from July 10th to July 10th. <laughs> Oh wow, I died. Okay, let's just take this out anyway. I wasn't expecting to be too shot by this guy. Alright, we're good. Obviously a pretty easy stage to take down when you have uh, Spirit Gears out the wazoo. So yeah, if you, you'll, you'll, there will be some days where you'll get over 5,000 points as well, so getting to 50,000 in 10 days should be pretty doable uh, once we get some of the higher numbers. But let's also go back, because there is one more thing I want to go over before we get out of here, and that is, obviously we have a bunch of rewards in the box. Um, what I want to go over is over here, I think. Yeah, so we have a bunch more tickets in here that you can acquire. And I believe this is doing... Okay, already five of everything is already completed. So I am going to assume it's just doing the event. It's not recollection again. Might be more recollection over here. No, it's just basic stuff over here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to assume it's just doing the event itself. So you got to do it a total of 70 times in order to get these tickets, which with the multiplier is not too hard to do. And then just more stuff over here. So let me just grab everything. Oh, and one thing I wanted to mention uh, as well, because obviously I like to mention every event during the shutdown, you do, you aren't capped on the normal tickets. Um, once again, just like the last event, um, when you do the, in the normal event stage over here, like if you're someone who's still trying to farm tickets to max out everything, you do this 70 AP stage, it will, I'll just do it right now before we end the video you get one ticket per run as well over here. So you will still walk away with some good stuff. Even though there's a ton of good tickets uh, in the shop to get, um, obviously there's gonna be people, even after all of that, that don't have everything maxed out, myself included. Uh, I believe ending Mirajar-wise, I only have Ruka, Velvet, 
and Ix fully maxed out. I believe every... Oh, Yuri's I maxed out as well. So, that's only four of, like, the 20 characters that I have maxed out. I don't think I'm going to get every non-collaborator dark out. I'm gonna try my best. If I get as much as I can, as many characters as I can get, shuts down here on the 23rd. Pretty much exactly 24 days from now, so that's three weeks and three days. So I, there you see, four tickets. So you continue getting more. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, there is, when you first open the game, there's a little opening skit where Ix and Melina are wishing us the best on our final raise fest. Uh, and it is voiced, which is kind of nice. And yeah, so this is where we're going right here. I'm going to try maybe next weekend to do one final live stream for co-op. Um, and then obviously, uh, once we get the final event on the 10th. I'll make another video on it there. And then I may, I'll see, it depends when the servers actually shut down, but I may try to do a final live stream where we just kind of stay live until the servers actually shut down on the 23rd. But it's all gonna depend on what time the servers actually shut down. I'm gonna have to look at that again because obviously if it's like five in the morning, I'm not gonna do a 5 a.m. stream. Um, but yeah, so. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any mirror darts you're chasing right now, trying to get maxed out, let me know what you're still missing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.